So guys, you've just booted up your Xbox Series X, you're going onto your emulation programs, you're looking forward to running the Xena Canary 360 emulator and you press the X button, it loads up as normal, but then you get this screen here pop up, so you click up here, you go to the Xena Canary, you get a green little symbol turning, and then none behold, the app crashes. You come back to the home screen. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cav the Gamer, not Javage Gaming Channel, of course. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Xena Xbox 360 emulation tutorial guide. Now, before you skip this part of the video, like I know you probably 99.9% .9 probably will do, is basically in order to get this to work, you need your Xbox 360 game. So now what I mean by that is you actually need Obviously not a PlayStation 2 version, but you need an Xbox 360 disc actual physical copy. Now the reason why you, I say that is it is extremely difficult trying to find Xbox 360 ROMs online. Now there aren't many places you can actually download them from, so the best bet is if you've got a pile of old Xbox 360 games, use those, convert it, make it to your own ISR disc image file if you want to know how to do that. I have a video here on my channel which you can see clearly how to basically convert a physical game into an ISO image file. Now, the reason why you need to do that is the Xena Canary emulation app will not work unless you do that otherwise. And more importantly, you can't get the games online. They are very difficult to find and download and they are very big files. So you're going to be wasting a lot of time. You probably just spare off going to the shop buying a cheap second hand one. But in this tutorial guide, I will show you the first part of the guide is basically once you load up Xena emulation, you're probably going to get the app crashing where you're going to get a little black screen and a green circle going round and round like you can see here in the video. Now the way to get around it is there's an updated configuration file that you need to use FTP Durango on the Xbox Series X and FileZilla on your PC where you're going to send the file over to it. Now. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward and simple. There's no biases needed, everything's all automated. I can't show you at the end of the video any Xbox 360 games actually playing on here. That is because I don't physically have the games or anything like that. So once I do, I'll do obviously an updated video showing you. But this is just a guide on just to get you started. So it should be quite simple and easy for you. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back at the end of the video to give you an outcome. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to do is, we need to do a few little steps here. So... First thing you just need to go on the Xbox Series X and you need to load up Durango FTP. Now this is going to talk with the computer so it's going to allow me to remotely access the Xbox's hard drives so I can change some internal files. So go ahead and start Durango, hit the start button and it will say listening to server port. Make a note of the IP address you see here. Then we need to go on over to the PC, load up FileZilla and connect to the Xbox remotely. Um, okay. Hit connect, wait for it to connect to the Xbox, it should be connecting to it shortly. If it you are failing to connect, make sure you put a port number in. So for my Xbox it's port 20, hit the enter button, establish a new connection. And you can see we've connected to the Xbox. So if you don't connect properly using just the IP address, check the port. Durango FTP will give you a port number, so I'll just go ahead into there. Alright guys, this next part can be a little bit tricky, so once you've accessed your Xbox folder on the FTP app, you'll see it here appears local folder. Now, if I go into my local folder, you're going to see a ton and ton of different folders. Now, unfortunately, the folders are not actually named as what the programs are, so it doesn't tell you RetroArch, Dolphin Emulator, so you need to find it out. So what I find is this little screen here at the bottom is very useful. You see last modified, if you filter that, you'll be able to sort of work your way around what's new in the folders and what's not. So all I'm going to do is literally go into each one, starting with the top, and in here you want to go into the local state. Now you can see here straight away it says retro art, so I know this folder is for the retro art emulation, so we don't need to touch that. Um, we we'll try the next one. We're going again into local state, and I can see this is not for the Xena Canary. So we're going to try the third one. 
go into local state, bang, there we go, Xena Canary. So that's how you can navigate your way around all these folders. So basically this config tool here, we're going to be replacing it with an updated version. All right, guys, now back again on the Xbox Emulation Hub Discord server. We're back here again. So we basically need to update the Xena Canary configuration file, which is in FileZilla, to get the program to actually load and not crash. So on the Xbox Discord server hub, if I go to retail announcements here, you can see there's a lot of different updates here and things like that. So the one that we want to do is scroll up and we're going to collect this one here, Zinnikin area, the fix to launch the app. Now my app does not load at the moment, so we need to go and launch it. So if I press this here, it will send me to a new link within the Discord server. And here it's got the instructions, very clear, very simple to follow. So what we want to do is download the Canary update file here, which I've already gone and done here in the corner here. So if I go to here, you can see it will be a WinRAR file. Again, extract the files, it will appear here next to it. So in the folder, you can see Xena Canary config file. Now, what we need to do is go into FileZilla and we're basically going to be replacing it with this file here. So if I literally go back to here and I'm going to just drag it, I'm going to just drop it straight into here, close that. And it's going to ask me to overwrite, rename, whatever. We're going to overwrite it with this new configuration tool. So hit the OK button. Transfer. So all the files have successfully been transferred. So that should have actually been updated now. So you can see here the date last month by 2202. So once that's updated now, we're going to go onto the Xbox and we're going to try and load up the Xena Canary emulation app and see if it boots up now. All right, guys, so back in the Xbox. So we're no longer using FileZilla, so we can stop the Xbox from talking to the computer. So hit the stop button on Durango FTP, come out of there, and we're going to try and boot up Xena Canary. Now, don't forget, we just updated the config file. So fingers crossed, perfect, there we go. You see it's working straight away now. The configuration file now loads up the game. You can see here we can go through all the settings and things like that. So what we need to do is path. Once we get some Xbox 360 games loaded. Right, guys, so once you, you get your Xbox 360 game, what you'll do is just put it into your computer, load it using an external DVD writer. And we're gonna load up Image Burn app. And you can see here we've got a lot of different options. So we're just gonna create an image file from the disk. So press that button there. It's obviously going to detect the DVD drive. You can see it's found it in there. Uh, it's got Burnout 2 here, so you can see the name of the game, and it's going to make it into an ISO file. So go ahead and just hit the Convert button and give it a few moments. So you will do this with the Xbox 360 game. You can then load it into the Xena Canary app. Guys, so you're going to need a new program as well called ISO to God. Now what it pretty much does is very self-explanatory. It basically converts your Xbox 360 ISO image files as they don't actually work correctly with the Xena Canary into a file format called God files and basically God files basically actually stands for games on demand. So that's what it means. So go ahead and download this app. It's free again. I'll leave the website link for this in the description of the video. Good to download now give it a few moments and it will download the file. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and folder, right click it here and we're just going to extract it here with the Renoir. Okay guys, once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and download this and run the ISO to God program. You just want to simply add your ISO so you would browse it here where your Xbox 360 game file is and just put the output location to where you want it to be. So just literally load it into here. Once it's done, hit convert. That will go ahead and do it. Now the next stage is we need to basically go into the USB and create an Xbox 360 games folder. Alright guys, now that I've got my USB plugged in, I'm just going to make a new folder in the USB and we're going to call it Xbox 360 games and we're going to make another one just called Xbox 360. Um, similar to the Dolphin standard, let me know. So once do, these two games are done, um, in the Xbox 360 games, obviously, you would literally just put your game files into here. All right, guys, so back onto the Xbox. We've plugged in our USB, so we're going to boot up the Xena Canary app. That will load. Now you can see there's obviously no games there or anything like that, so we need to set the path first. So what you do is go to Path Settings, and you want to add the path. Now you'll get this folder appear again. Again, very similar to the Dolphin Emulator. What you want to do is head on over to USB. 
And you can see my folders here, Xbox 360 games and Xbox 360. So the first one I'm going to do is make an Xbox 360. Just leave it as that, so that's one path. The second one we're going to do is we're going to load up the Xbox 360 games and just press select. Now, once those two paths have been added, so now that's all been set up. So now what we literally do is just come out of here. Um, you want to close the app. Oh, not that one. And you just want to reopen it again. So, right, let's close. Reload the app again. Now, once it's reloaded, if I go to paths, you can see my paths have been saved. So just make sure your paths are saved. Now, any games you have, once you've added them to the USB, will appear here in the games list. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. So you can see I got through basically getting the Xena 360 emulation app to actually work. The only problem is I couldn't physically show you it because I don't have any games, but you get the idea of how simple and easy it actually is to use this program. Now, you're probably wondering, why do you need a 360 emulator when the Xbox Series X is pretty much backwards compatible with everything? That's a very good question. But I say, why not? Why not just test the emulators, you've run them, doesn't matter, it's good fun. Um, it's awesome that we can actually experiment with the Xbox Series X, unlike my PS5 which is completely bricked up and you can't even allow a single web browser. Xbox Series X is a lot more tailored to us gamers so hey guys if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you really enjoyed the video you can always give me a super thanks which helps donate money to the channel so i can keep bringing you guys more and more content now my next videos i'll be doing some more updated guides on the emulation ones again i'll be keeping up to date with the links once they're available so obviously don't miss those out subscribe to the channel check the community tabs but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video until next time take care and thank you for watching